Hello everyone, this is Suzanne Fury Parrot with Unruly Guides. And in this video, this is for my ebook formatting kit 3.0. I'm going to be showing you two versions of Sigil. Now, with an open source program like Sigil is, it's a great program, but they like to update and like with anybody who makes a program, they like to move menus around. And from the version that is the most current stable version as of January 2012, and the beta version that I am using, there have been some menu changes and I also have a bug in my Mac version which you in your PC version may not have. So I will show you the best of my ability on how to do this and then we'll update the videos later. In an older version of Sigil you can see that your TOC editor is now located to the right of the screen. In very old versions of Sigil, it was under the Tools menu up here. It would say Meta Editor and then also TLC Editor. So if you have a newer version, it is on the right of the screen. You'll notice also that you can insert images here, and it's, you can choose an image from a disk or insert it into the text. Um, but in the newer beta version, which will be released soon as a stable version, the Tools menu completely disappears. Now, the insert image is still located here, and it does still say choose an image from the book browser and insert it into the text. That's not necessarily true in my version. That is a bug. But I will show you here that it's the tools is gone, but now everything's located under the edit menu, and it's meta editor insert image. So you see, see things do tend to move around. So I will update this as quickly as possible, but for now it will get you started. I've already split my chapters here, so I'm just going to go to the author page. And you can see here that I have Mark Twain. Now in my version, of the beta version that has the quirk, which you may also have, if I wanted to insert a new image here, I would just select after the image here, you can kind of see it blinking there, and I'd hit delete, and it would take the image out. Now I want to add an image and you'll notice that when I go insert image it should let me choose it from my browser. It does not. And so that hopefully will be fixed. So I'm going to be looking for headshot. But let's say I don't have it in there yet. To add an image you would right click the images folder and go add existing files. And you would just go through and find your image and just click choose which I'd have a headshot here. I could go open. Now it will not overwrite anything that you already have of the same name. That's another thing that would be nice if it did. You'd have to delete this original headshot first and then add it. But any other image that you choose will go into the images folder. Now simply to add the image in this new beta version, I would just go headshot and go OK and it would add it in. Now in the older versions, and I'm going to do this quickly for you, we'll go back to author. Let's say now you have a completely different headshot image you want to add. You would go at the cursor at the end of the image, hit delete, and you can see your cursor blinking. Now when you go here, you can see that it does allow me to choose images, but there's no way to choose images that are already in the folder. That's another bug, so hopefully they'll be fixing that. So you would try to find your headshot image or whatever image you want to insert, and I have huge images here. So I'm just going to put in this small person writing, and I named it a thumbnail. So let's say that's my bio image. So here I have, I placed my images there, and you'll also notice that it also puts it into the image folder. So it already links to it and everything, so that's perfect for you. So adding images, you can see, is very simple, but it is buggy in Sigil. So if you do run across these issues, and you have a PC or, or any other type of OS system you're using, please send in a troubleshooting problem to Sigil so that they can be aware of it, what your OS system is, and they can fix it. I do that all the time. So anyway, that's how you can add your images very easily to the Sigil program. Um, like I said, depending on your version, you might have an older version where that image did not work, and you'll just have to add the images and link to them, and that will be in my 3.0 book. If you have any questions, contact me at Unruly Guides, and happy writing, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening.